pulling out in EV. But it's not EV because the engine's running. So we're missing out on that. So we might as well just go. Change our display to its usual settings. Air conditioning on because it's Texas and it's warm and I'm... Um, actually, let's just crack the windows a little. Cool it down. It's a little clap edit. Okay, we're starting off at... Whoa, good lord. <laughs> we're starting off at 57 miles per gallon. Because we've just started and the engine is running and so we couldn't pull away in hybrid mode now there is a suggestion that you can sit and it sounds like the engine's sh shut off now because it's obviously got to temperature and this lady obviously is unaware there we go okay not driving very well right yet yet yeah, right yet right yet right yet yet right okay we still can't get ev mode we have the battery, so it's obviously temperature related because we've just started. So we're just going to try and neutral glide in towards the traffic light now because there's no need to rush to a red. Although the car ahead has actually got his right indicator on, so we may be able to get around this corner at some point. 56.9 we're already down to because of the usual startup cost. Put a single cell into the battery, so that's good sitting on an uphill and we can go around this corner now in fact the light has gone to green anyway so I'm going to just gas it a touch get around the corner lift and press nobody behind me still can't get into eco mode so again we might as well make some use of this the car still won't let us into eco mode miles per gallon 30 now we've got EV mode but we've got a traffic light ahead anyways so we're going to charge this is in the right hand lane People in the left-hand lane seem to be more interested in going faster, so the right-hand lane will get us a little bit, try and get a little bit more charge into the battery. And stop with the gap of a car to the car in front. Just check everything and it looks okay. You can probably rotate a touch. And we've got a green light, so we're going already. And the car in front will start to roll for us. We're going to try and stay in eco to 16. It's a windy day, so now we've completed the eco, so we're going to put a bit of gas on. Light ahead is red, so neutral coast. Light has changed to green. Cars ahead are still stopping. But we're okay now. So, I'm going to let it charge as we, we can't see ahead of the SUV in front because it's got blacked out windows. So, we can't see what the car in front of them is doing. I'm going to lift and feather, lift and feather all the time here. And there we go, we've got EV mode. We've got a full, almost full battery. We've got EV mode at 35 miles per hour. We're going to do this the remainder of the way to the highway. We won't get as much, we're already down to 56.8. Might get us back up to 56.9. Stay in EV mode, we're down to 30 miles an hour because somebody turned off into a gas station. We don't need to do that, we still have a tank of gas. Our cruise and the lights have changed to green, which is great for us because it means that we don't, definitely do not have to stop going around this corner. Because nothing can be coming from that way when the traffic's going straight on. 
So again, this is just knowledge of the road. Nobody behind me, so I'm going to stay in eco. Is it gaining me anything? No, about time I gunned it. Okay, so we've got an uphill section coming up. So, car's feeling sluggish. It, it, it tends to feel sluggish at the start. And I, it, as it warms up, it feels better. Nearly 60 miles an hour. Not doing very good miles per gallon right now. 56.8. We're about to get into our stride. So now we're on. Engine is running 50 miles an hour. Forty-five miles an hour coming around this corner. Don't really want to be going much more than forty-five miles an hour around this corner anyway. Lots of traffic joining from our right, and we'll all be joining the highway. So we've got a nice downhill run, which we can take advantage of, get a little bit of speed. They're going to, they're going to be people pulling across, so we need to be a little careful. Look at how bunched up they are ahead. So if we allow them a little more space, that's not doing anybody any harm. I'm going to stay in this lane. Lift and feather. I'm going to stay in this lane. This is a good lane for me. 60 miles per gallon, 55 miles per hour. It's a good speed. Eco is an eco plus section, quarter of the way in. Remember, we don't want to go into that bottom quarter. We're almost better off going halfway point than anywhere else. Lift and feather a little, try and keep it above 60. Fifty-six miles per hour, sixty miles per gallon. Currently, MPG is fifty-six point eight for the tank, and we're just going to keep doing this all the way down the highway. Bring my foot down a little bit because I know there's a bit of a hillock ahead. Hillock, a small hill. Feather, lift and feather. 60 miles an hour on a 55 mile an hour speed limit work zone area, but everybody else is overtaking me, treating me like I'm a pariah. 60 miles per gallon, 55 miles an hour. Put our foot down a little bit because there's a, again another little bit of a hill coming up. 56.8 is our total miles per gallon at the moment. So I'm lifting and feathering quite regularly now. I'm watching the cars quite far ahead. I'm seeing brake lights, so I'm just going to ease off a touch. Lift and feather. It starts to get congested around here, but it looks quite clear. So if we leave a bit of a gap in front of us, we'll allow people to change lanes, get on and off the highway, make sure this truck knows that I'm actually here. miles per gallon at 50 miles per hour. Again, I'm happy with that. Fifty-five miles an hour. Lift and feather. I'm gonna lift and feather because I'm down to 50 miles an hour going up this hill. I'm trying to maintain the load maintain this 60 mpg here and i have to put my foot down a little bit i'm going up into power to get myself around here but there's almost certainly going to be traffic as i round this corner from experience lifting feather and there isn't too bad we may have a really nice run home here nice not as in necessarily miles per gallon but nice as in smooth I'm going to eco, put my eco up a little bit, let the electric engine get me going a little faster. 
6.8 still I'm going to go up into the power zone let go on feather so we're now at 60 miles an hour at 90 miles a gallon not bad 55 miles an hour 90 miles a gallon looking ahead seeing some braking 56.8 55 miles an hour 90 miles per gallon 80 miles a gallon 54 miles an hour still 56.8 because I keep doing those burns 50 miles an hour I'm expecting traffic again I'm constantly expecting traffic at the moment I'm not getting it miles an hour over 60 miles per gallon put my foot down a little I see the traffic ahead starting to stop now so I'm gonna get across I'm gonna let go ready for charge I'm charging now because I'm on the access road, the main road is uh, congested, the access road isn't so congested so, but it is a little congested so I'm just keeping it going smoothly through here lift and feather to keep that 90 as much as we can we may even, if we dropped our speed a little we may even get eco, EV mode, and we have EV mode so we're charging, 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 charging a little Fiat's going to nip out in front of us. Charging. I'm going to put my foot on the brake a little more. Probably going to stay off the highway here, maybe. 56.9. Oh, I might actually get on. get on but I might try and get over another lane in a moment and I'm getting over all this time I'm charging my battery and now I'm in EV mode back to charging charging a little harder let go back to EV mode so now we're going to start to let a gap build up between us and the cars in front. Nice two or three car gap at traffic jam highway speeds. Keep it in eco. There's no point in going anything other than EV mode at the moment. Because even if the car's ahead of me, I'm going to won't let me go back into EV mode. Okay. Battery is good. Fifty seven miles per gallon now. Stay in EV mode. Let go, go back to charge. So we're trying to smooth out these traffic waves a little. Again, traffic waves, search for it on YouTube. It explains how traffic waves occur with no actual problem on the road, just human beings' actions shunting up against each other. There's even some pretty cute ones using actual humans, making them walk around in a circle people in cars making them drive around in a circle. There's absolutely no point in rushing through here. This Dodge Charger that charged in has had to break. I'm going to charge a little. <laughs> and cars ahead now three lanes, left two lanes are going south, right lane is for turning off for downtown Austin and people will 
leave it till the last minute to get in. We're not too bothered about that. We're more bothered about maintaining our gap. So if they want to pull into there, as I say, it only costs us one second in our overall journey time. Another Dodge Charger. Only cost us one second in our overall journey time. Sometimes it'll cost us a little more if they pull in and slam on their brakes and cause us to actually use physical brakes, which we never want to do. But most of the time, it works out fine. You can stay relaxed and zen, yogic, chilled out. Just keep the traffic rolling along smoothly. Charging again. Again, I'm not going to rush forward. There's no point in doing that. They're probably going to bunch up again. I'm looking far ahead on the road and I'm actually not seeing any bunching. So I'm going to put my foot down a little. Looks like the traffic's clearing up a little. All these people are going to try and get past me so they can nip in. Almost to the uh, point of rubbing the side of my car. Currently at 57.2 miles per gallon. I'm going to drop off. Try and keep it at infinite, or 90, because we've got the gas engine running. Nobody behind us at the moment, and there's lights, brake lights going on ahead of us, so quite happy to just feather it at the over 60 miles per gallon area. And when we crest, put our foot down as we crest, start to build up some speed. The road looks great ahead, so we're gonna get up to about 60 miles an hour. Once we're at 60, we're going to drop it and put it in the middle of Eco Plus. Middle of Eco Plus. Look at our current. Our current is seeing 60 miles per gallon. 60 miles per gallon at over 60 miles an hour. That's what we're aiming for. We're going to pull across, keeping it at 60 miles per gallon, 60 miles an hour. I expect as I round this corner to see brake lights again. That's what you normally see on this road. And I see some, it's not too bad, 57.1 because of that surge that we did. Lift and feather, Let's keep it at 60, lift and feather. Now I'm gonna have to power up this hill a little bit. I'm getting into the Right hand lane, again I've got the power on quite a lot now, lift and feather to get that up a little one, I only want to be about 30. 57.1 still, lift and feather, don't need to go any faster than this, lift and feather, getting it up over 60, I'm looking ahead, I've got a stale green that's just turned amber and turning red on the access road, so I'm not going to be doing that, let's get it to 90, let's lift up so we get 90. 40 miles per hour, 90 miles per gallon, and the access road is going to be full. So in this case, it's actually looking like this might not have been a great idea. Actually, the access road looks quite nice. So we're in EV mode, just gonna coast down here. We're actually gonna regen as we go down this access road, because we need to blend in with the traffic. So we still got further ahead, of the traffic than we would have been ourselves. What we want to do is do a nice smooth blend so we don't affect the speed of the traffic and the person decided they wanted to be in front of me. Somebody honked. So I'm gonna to have to power up this hill. 57.1, there's no choice but to power up this hill. That's what everybody else is doing. All the time I'm gonna try and lift and feather it. It's 30 miles per gallon lift and feather 90 miles per gallon going uphill at 90 miles per gallon at 30 miles an hour put my foot down again now at 15 miles per gallon lift and feather let's get it up to 30 it's 56.9 so we have achieved 56.9 will we get 57 before we get home unlikely so I'm going to stop the recording at the end of this road. 
So I might still get 57, but I'm definitely 56.9 here. And our journey comes to an end, my friends. Put a little bit of charge in before I turn this corner. Look around, stop, and we stop on 56.9. So I'm going to, if there's no cars around and there aren't, I'm going to show you what we achieved. We've got, some we've got 56.9, and when I bring up the display, oh, not destination, no. Info, and fuel consumption, and we want fuel consumption, and there you can see, we've got, Fantastic bars.